Hello there. We've been covering quite a lot of weapons recently, but today we're taking a look at the five best armor sets that you need to get a hold of. And these are mostly very obtainable, even for low level players. But looking at the best armors, I have to include two that require a bit more work to get your hands on. But let's get into things. And because I made this list including regular armor and power armor, I've had to narrow it down quite a lot. So first off, we'll go with the power armor option and it's going to be the excavator power armor. Now excavator power armor is very easy to obtain and it has great built-in effects. Excavator is one of the most popular power armor choices out there from low level all the way to end game. You can start using it from level 25 and you can get the plans to craft it from the minor miracles quest as well. You can also buy it from players and there's even some nice high level players that have dropped full sets for new players cause the community in 76 is just that wholesome. But the biggest draw of excavator is the 100 bonus carry weight which is super useful as well as using both of the arm pieces in tandem gets you increased mining yield so just another very useful benefit to the power armor set resistances for it are on the low side but as i've tested in many of it in the past as long as you're in power armor you'll find very diminishing returns between the weakest power armor and the strongest especially if you just use it for general play and against regular mobs and even bosses uh, the massive resistance difference between something like this and the t65 is literally a couple of bullets so don't worry too much about that plus it still has the same 90 percent rad reduction and 42 percent damage reduction it's hard to argue when it comes to excavator over to a regular armor set we have heavy combat and I think most would think this is an unusual choice to make this list but there's many reasons for it firstly it has solid resistances besides the radiation resistance but for pretty much all of your regular armor sets besides certain ones like secret service or brotherhood recon or the Chinese stealth armor no regular sets really have good rad resistance but heavy combat has really solid ballistic and energy resistance there are plenty of mods that you can choose for the set and the biggest reason is because it is tradable you can buy it from players it can be dropped you can give it to friends or your other characters whereas a lot of the better armor sets are non-tradable and require tons of gold or daily ops drops so for low level players and more casual players they're just not great options but heavy combat definitely is and it's usable from level 20 it's just a solid choice for many different reasons and i didn't want this to literally be end game non-tradable armor sets and for the same reasons i'm also going to turn this into a two for one kind of deal and i'm also going to say heavy leather armor for the exact same reasons great mod options it's easy to trade and find and if you want a stealthy armor set mod it with the shadowed super awesome for stealth and way easier to get than something like your covert op and if you're enjoying nuke that like button and destroy that subscribe button up next i just have to because it really is one of the best and that is secret service armor you do need to buy the plans with gold bullion from regs or if minerva has them on sale so it does require gold and the mods do as well can't trade it or drop it but from the end game sets it really is the best and most accessible stuff like the brotherhood recon set performs pretty much identically to secret service but you get that from daily ops drops which will probably take you a long time due to RNG and the large loot pool in daily ops, but Minerva can also sell it from time to time, but Secret Service just is way easier to get. It has great resistances, especially for radiation when it comes to your regular armor sets. You can model with a jetpack mod, which is only available on the Secret Service and the Brotherhood Recon, so it has that unique aspect as well. And when it comes to end game armor sets that you want to grind for, definitely go for Secret Service. Just wear an outfit because it ain't the prettiest. Back over to power armor, we have the Union power armor. Now, if you've been completing scoreboards from previous seasons, then you might have access to it, which is a good thing. If not, then you're going to have to get intimately acquainted with expeditions because you're going to need a lot of stamps to buy the plans and mods for them. But it is a seriously powerful power armor set, much higher resistances than the excavator, plus it has 75 carry weight bonus, so only slightly less than the excavator, as well as 150 poison resistance, which comes in massively handy with daily ops and mutated event modifiers. You can also get the jetpack mod for it, unlike the excavator, which was only available for a short time due to a bug. So the Union power armor really is an awesome end game power armor set probably the best to go for currently and lastly i'm going to include one that while it may not be the strongest it's extremely popular and has very useful use cases and that's going to be the chinese stealth armor now you can't make it legendary which sucks but it has decent resistance you can get it freely from the settlers quests as part of the wastelanders and it comes with a whole bunch of passive effects it reduces your fall damage massively it makes you invisible improves your stealth and has complete radiation protection of a thousand which 
makes it super useful for nuke zones, especially when you're a low level. It's essentially a radiation suit as well. I wish you could have legendary crafting for it. I don't know why you can't. It's literally a single piece compared to five pieces in other sets, so definitely wouldn't be overpowered. But regardless, the Chinese stealth armor, definitely a great option, especially while you're busy obtaining and getting your perfect legendary rolled armor sets, and always has the benefit of that massive radiation protection for non-power armor users. But let me know if you use any of these, or if there are any sets that you use and love no matter what. If you want to check out some weapons that you should not be sleeping on, then check out this video. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.